Welcome to this StormFX presentation about edit share. Consider this a bonus video that I wanted to make um, and you should have watched um, the premiere overview and how it works together with edit share. This part is more about how to back up and how to restore clips and media spaces. And this is an interesting feature um, that um, I would like to cover here in a few minutes. So. <clears throat> EditShare provides an asset management system here, um, which is called Flow. Flow scans the media spaces um, for the files, extracts all the metadata, and generates proxies. So at this moment here, this clip here exists as a proxy, which I'm watching now, and it physically exists on the storage as well. I can add project metadata, I can add clip metadata, it um, is fully configurable and customizable. Um, however, this is not necessarily what I wanted to show in this little bonus video. I would like to show you how you can archive and bring everything back. So to do this, let's go into the edit share backup and archive software, which is called Arc. Here it is, um, Arc. You open this application and you are presented with this user interface. Um, you can go ahead and say, I would like to create a new backup job, either to disk or to tape. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and call this demo backup. <clears throat> you can schedule the backup so um, it can happen overnight if required. You can select a source and you have different views. You can either have it this way from um, an NLE point of view or from the actual volume perspective, you can select the media space that you would like to back up. In this case, it's the media space um, over here on the left-hand side, Storm Unmanaged. So that's the one that I would like to back up. And um, I usually would back up to a separate backup storage or to tape, not necessarily onto the same system. That's what I'm going to do here. And I simply say, apply. It ends up as a queued job, which I can run now, or it will kick off if it's scheduled. So if I do this, it will start to back up the media. It's reading and writing to the same storage. That's why you have two graphs here. And um, all of this um, can be configured. So if you want to limit the backup to a very low bandwidth of, let's say, 50 megabytes, you can do so. All right, while this is restore, um, backing up, not restoring, I would like to show you what is happening in Flow. Flow has two indicators, an A for archived and an X for deleted, essentially. So currently, it is um, not necessarily aware that the media is being archived or backed up, but in a few seconds, it starts to rescan to ping, essentially, the, um, the storage. And you can see that the clips that I wanted to back up receive an A. And this is this is a really cool feature. I love it um, because you have instant um, feedback of what is currently happening. So let's wait until the backup job has finished, and then I will show you what happens if you delete and want to restore data. Okay, the backup job finished. Let's say at some point um, in future I don't require this specific clip here um, so I would like to delete it so let's go ahead delete files instantly the file will be deleted from the storage only the proxy remains which I can scrub and browse um, and it's indicated that it has not only been archived, it has also been deleted from the storage and I can now go ahead and restore if I want, either from tape or from a backup disk. So as a matter of fact, if I grab, for example, my Premiere here and I drop the clip into Premiere, it will not find the clip because it simply does no longer exist. It was actually a proxy file. So if I want to restore this clip, I simply go ahead and say, please create a new backup job, arc, 
I would like to have a new job. I drag one or more clips into a new list and simply say start the backup job. In the background, Arc, the Arc software, will start to either grab the tape um, or um, ask the backup storage to, um, to um, restore the clip. You will see once it has been restored, the red cross disappears. And if I grab that clip and place it again into my bin, I have the same media that was not available just a second ago. So this is a very short overview of how Flow and Arc works. It's a very interesting um, and essential concept um, in the edit share end-to-end -end workflow. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.